Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be here with a NHS Go and we're going to be talking to a few people at the Islington Boxing Club about their emotional health and well-being. particular just during life and stuff what kind of things stress you out uh probably let's say college work and all the other things all the other that stress out normal teenager basically working too hard just losing <laughs> i hate losing in terms of like emotional well-being and mental health do you would you talk to someone about it if you had an issue or would you keep it to yourself and try and solve it yourself well it kind of depends to be honest i've been to like my gp and stuff about issues but i like to speak to like people i'm close to really as a guy, probably tend to bottle it up a bit. I would probably go to a GP first, um, tell them sort of what was going on, and then obviously um, they would refer me to the right specialist, I guess, I hope. I've got friends here, we talk, so kind of like share what we're going through and that. Personally, I'd come here because I feel that I'm closer with coaches. have helped me out through tough times and that, but. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd go to my family as well, but I'd feel a bit more comfortable if I come to the boxing club. Is there any sort of reason that you would keep it to yourself and you don't feel like you could talk to someone, or is it just a per purely personal thing that you just don't? People I can talk to, I just find it easier just to get on with things myself. I find that when you tell someone about your problems, and then you can kind of, so they then ask you about it like a week later, and if it, then you might have forgotten about it, and it brings it up again, so. Is there anything, so say you're having a bad day, you don't feel very well, you're kind of like anxious or depressed or whatever it is, um, would you do something to kind of like combat that? Is there anything that you like to do to kind of make yourself feel better, pick yourself up? Well, exercise really. I go for a run, here I'm here boxing, deal with issues and stuff. Just like, like a stress relief. Identify the problem and you know, face it head on really. I find just going out, sort of outdoors, fresh air, just to clear your head, um, does a body wonders and a mind, I think. When I'm in the boxing gym, I feel relaxed. I feel like this is my second home. I feel like when I'm here, nothing, nothing bad could possibly go wrong. Doing sport tends to help things because obviously you get like endorphins and stuff. So to anyone, just work out and it kind of just like lets everything go. Is meditating something that you gravitate towards? Yeah, I started that like, not, like about a few months ago. Because it helps a lot with anxiety and like you know before a fight, like a lot of time you just get gassed out just hitting the pads. But obviously when you meditate and stuff, you don't you don't think about it really. It's you just your mind is like you're in the moment, so that's what it makes a big difference, 100%. Do you think there's some sort of like stigma towards guys being able to talk to people? I don't even think there's a stigma. I just think it's just a natural inclination for guys to do it. I mean, um, obviously when I talk to my female friends, they're a lot more open with their emotions, whereas for guys it's just a bit, I don't know, I think we just naturally build that way. I mean. Really? People don't talk about it nowhere near as much as they should do. Do you think there's a reason for that or...? Embarrassment. I think if someone does actually suffer from some sort of mental health reason, like illness, there's nothing to be embarrassed about, but people are unfortunately, so it doesn't get talked about as much as it should do. So that is the end of today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave the link to the NHS Go app down below so you can go and download that. I'd like to say a massive thank you to the people at Islington Boxing Club and also the people at the NHS and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye! NHS Go? Never heard of it.